I went back to GIMP. Someone asked me how you can apply a logo or text to a box. So let me show you. I import a logo. I've got an original image. It's from Unsplash. You'll find it in the description. And let me also add a text element so that you can see that it works on either element. I'm not good at selecting it here. Let me zoom in a little bit. You have to be exactly on the text element. And you can adjust the text, so make it a different color if you want to. I'll stick with this and I merge it, so I've got the logo and a text on the same layer. Let me reposition that a little bit. To get the angle, use the perspective tool. Left click on it. And when you drag this, you want to hold shift. This gives you a free adjustment option for these corner points. And then reposition them so that the angle is somewhat correct. Let me confirm here transform. Uh, and I wasn't perfect here, but we'll stick with this. So simply use the perspective tool to adjust the angle. And then you have two options. You can change the blending mode here to get rid of the white or use select by color. So if you, for example, have a white logo and you want to get rid of, let's say, a red background, you can use select by color here. Play around with the thresholds to have only the background selected. And then press the delete key on your logo layer. Shift Ctrl A to deselect. Depending on the threshold, you might have this halo effect here. So you may have to adjust that once again. I'm going to stick with the blending mode. Here I use multiply and that gets rid of the white color. You can still scale it. Just hold Ctrl when you do. And here you can see that my angle wasn't perfect, but you get the idea. When it comes to the perspective tool, just make sure that you hit the corners correctly. Now we are somewhat fine, but you can see the texture is missing from our logo. Normally when it's printed on it, there should be a texture. So copy the original. And then right click on the logo layer, alpha to selection. I get back to my copy, and a layer mask, use selection. And then I position this on top. Once again, shift control A to deselect. You can see that here, this covers my logo. And now I want to use grain merge. This gives me back the texture to some degree, but it also messes with the color. If you're fine with that, you're basically done. Simply adjust the opacity here a little bit. But if you want to have your original color back, in my case, that was black. You have to perform yet another task. To do that, we'll create a new layer. I'll call that black. And my foreground color is black, so I select that here. And then confirm we are OK. Put it to the top. If it isn't, then right click on your logo layer, alpha to selection yet again. Go back to the black layer, add a layer mask for the selection. Shift Ctrl A to deselect. And now I always forget what the blending mode was. Let me cycle through that.
I believe it's an HSL adjustment. And here, that should be it, HSL color. You can see we get the texture somewhat and it's colored black now on the text and the logo. So if I get rid of both of these, you can see the difference. Here's just a black color without the texture and here with. So this is what you have to do on top if you want to keep the original color. Whatever that is on your logo, just sample it, create a new layer with it, and then add this ages at color mode. Once again, important was the perspective. Make sure to cover the corners correctly, and that should do. If there's still questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.